Hello my lovely, are you ready to move your body to a little bit of aerobics and music and to a little bit of a circuit with a pillow? Then today is the workout for you. I'm Natasha from Diverse Personal Training. Welcome to this exercise today that will incorporate a little bit of dance, a little bit of aerobics at the start till we get nice and warm, followed by a circuit with a pillow. Any pillow will do, but I do recommend a cushion around this size, square, it's good, it's nice and squishy. As always, you're in charge of the workout, not me. I'm just here for ideas, suggestions, encouragement, and of course, squish, squish. If you have any medical conditions, pre-existing injuries or diagnoses that you think would prevent you in engaging in the workout that I'm about to do, or if you need modifications because of your injuries, diagnoses or condition, please make sure you have guidance from a medical practitioner, allied health practitioner or your GP. Let's get started, my lovely. All right, so we're just warming up for now. Nothing excessive, waking up our mind and our body to be present in the moment. So we're just wanting to increase blood flow, get our joints all lubricated, ready to move, and get our coordination working. So if you see me doing a move and you want to do a different one, that's better for you, go for it. This is your time, your body, your rules. I wonder how you're doing. I hope you're well. No, these are stressful times. And I want you to just wade through all the crap that you've had this week. Push it away. You can deal with it later. And you can deal with it. Because you've got skills. And we're going to move forward. And back. So just leave all the crap down there where it belongs. All the distractions. All the thoughts. Leave them down there. They don't have a place. Here. This place is all about your body, connecting with your body, nurturing. All right, lift those legs a bit higher. Let's really wake up those gluteals, okay, and hip flexors. That's it. Stretch open. Remember, we're still warming up, so don't go too excessive in your movements, okay? All right, let's wake up some ankles. Balance, ankle goes round the other way. Swap feet. Other way. All right, up on your tippy toes, down. So when you come down, keep your heels on the ground. Doing a bit of a knee bend, ankle bend. It's not a squat. Our technique here is not a squat. Our feet are too narrow. Our body weight's just going straight down. A squat, our body weight would be going backwards a bit. All right, add some hands. That's it. Just listen to the beat. Use it as a way to keep you in time. That's it. All right. That 
to these. So it's just basically stomping on the spot. I'm going to pick my feet up a bit more. Hands are just going side to side. This feels natural to me, so this is where I'm keeping them. You may feel more natural here, that's fine. Just pick up the feet, waking up those hammies. We're moving our shoulders, let's move our back. If you have a back injury, make sure you're in touch with a medical specialist or allied health practitioner or GP and you have guidance and instruction regarding twisting. Twisting can be wonderful for the back, can also be a not so great idea. All right, finish with some jazz hands. Yeah, excuse me while I cough. <coughs> All right, we're going to a different place now, a little bit warmer, get ready to box. We're gonna box with elbows going up a bit, like a chicken. You may recognize this move from another video of mine. I just like it. It's a good way to warm up everything, okay? with your march. That's it. reach, I want you to be mindful of your posture. Don't hunch up tall. Imagine a piece of string on the top of your head pulling your spine up and just keep the bounce going. You want that for ankles, knees and hips. Now if you're in a chair, this is where you might be. There's no reason why you can't look to adapt this to a chair. Some things may need a different exercise altogether. That's cool. Some things can stay the same. Right. And give yourself a hug. Back up. Wash yourself with love. Back up. Give yourself a hug. And wash yourself with love. Oh my goodness, I am so lame. Lame level unlocked. All right, one more warm up song, and then we're gonna get into it. A little bit more bouncy. So I want you to incorporate some calf raises. Now you can just go up here like this if you like. That's an option. You can bring your body weight side to side. I'm going to do a mix. Hands are swaying. Soon we're going to be banging on some drums. Making the movements bigger. Getting jumpier. All right, let's get big. Let's take up some space. Slam it down a bit. Slam and slam. As you slam, you'll notice you get more out of it and your back doesn't bend if you engage your core. So that's what I want you to do. Now we are slamming. So look at my hands. I've just got little fists. Slam. Slam. That's it. You can slam here. All 
All right, let's go up here. You're gonna jiggle. It's okay. Let me show you what some jiggle looks like. Keep going. See that? It's normal. It's not airbrushed. It's me. It's perfect. And I'm sure you have it too. It's okay. Get comfortable with it. Rather than focus on what it looks like, focus on how it feels. Does it feel liberating to move your arms up here? Does it feel nice to match the music? Is it a happy expression? Is it feeling good to take up the space? Because when you start focusing on how it feels, you start to appreciate how it looks. It looks good. The jiggle looks good because it's you moving. Keep moving. Come with me. I'm just here for a bit. All right, let's get a bit stompy. Let's get a bit joggy. Really getting the blood flowing. Stay here till the end, okay? Stay joggy or jumpy or skippy or marchy. But let's just keep moving at this type of intensity. If you're sitting, maybe you're boxing and that's what's giving you that nice amount of cardio. You can do both like me or here. Stay with me. Okay, now it's time to grab your pillow. I'm gonna briefly show you what the exercises are, but I'll give you technique as we actually do them. We will be doing a pillow slam. Leg extensions with the pillows. Squat and throw. Plank pull through. Squeezing the pillow between our thighs. And balance work on the pillow. In between each set, we're going to be just keeping our body moving. Our goal, just keep moving. So if that's a march, if that's a jog, if that's a star jump, if that's a bit of boxing, whatever it is that works for you. We're going to do a total of three rounds, so that's 18 exercises. Let's get started. Hey, come with me kneeling, get ready to slam. Here we go. So I'm slamming from a kneeling position. You may choose to slam standing up. I want to work my hamstrings and quads in this position. If you're sitting on a chair, perhaps you're slamming onto your lap or onto a table in front of you. All right, after this, we move straight into some jogging, okay? We move straight into it. So get ready, let's go. Just some light jogging or marching. Goal, keep the body moving. If you're feeling like a super intense workout today, do some star jumps. I do recommend just trying a few with this jogging just to see how you go. If you're ready or you're feeling like you can bring up the intensity, go for it. All right, our next one, we're gonna be down on the ground doing the leg extensions, a bit of core work. Get ready. Let's go. So you can lie on your back, pillow between the feet, and we extend and bring it close. Extend and bring it close. You may choose to be up here. You may choose to be down here. Oh. Now I want you to cough and hold your tummy muscles and lift that pelvic floor. We're nearly there, then we're back in a jog. Get ready. Get ready. Let's jog. So get up any way you like. You don't have to be looking so artistic or well coordinated as you move between up and down. All right, 10 seconds left. And then we move into our squat and throw. So we're throwing the pillow up in the air. 
Now remember when we squat, bring your body weight back. Let's go. We squat, throw. That's it. It doesn't have to be a high throw. If you want to go higher, go for it. I'm cool just here. Dig your heels into the ground. Body weight back. If you're in a chair, just throwing. Throwing up. That sounds so weird. All right. Let's jog. All right, next one. Plank and pull through. I'm going to do this first plank on my knees. Come join me there. You do feel it so differently if you do the plank on your toes. I do encourage you to give it a shot. It's great fun. But you will be planking on your hands. That way you get adequate room to pull. Let's go. All right, plank on the knees, engage core. All right, try not to let your body sink or dip as you change posture with the hands. See this? My body's not rocking, it's not rolling. We don't want rock and roll. Well, in this movement anyway. Nearly there and then we jog. Let's jog. Whew. Next one. We're just going to lie down, squeeze the pillow between our thighs. You can hold the squeeze or you can squeeze, let go. Squeeze, let go. I highly encourage you to lift that pelvic floor as you do it. So you get a squeeze here, squeeze here, squeeze here. Let's go. Lying down, pillow between the thighs, knees bent. Squeeze, chill. Squeeze, chill. Squeeze, chill. Or come with me and just hold it. You feel your thighs squeezing together, squeezing that pillow. You feel your pelvic floor is on and tummy muscles are on. We got this. Nearly there. Let it go. Come to a jog. I think I heard a delivery van. I'm just going to jog to the window. I am waiting for a delivery from Bunnings. Non Aussies, Bunnings is like Home Depot in America. It's, I don't know, other equivalents. But I'm waiting for some potting mix and compost and I'm so excited. All right, get ready to balance on the pillow. Pillows in front of you, one leg on, and come forward, raising that back leg. Now, you may be thinking, how do I do this if I'm in a chair? Great question. You kind of can't, but depending on ooh, your chair setup, your arm strength, you may choose to try and rise your body up and out of the chair, or you may choose to do something we did before. We go back into our pillow slams. You can do it from standing or you can do it kneeling. Now, I do apologize. I may have not set up my timer <laughs> as I originally wanted. So I do apologize for that, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna just keep moving. That's it. So slam down. Really focus on your triceps and your tummy. Get ready to jog. Here we go. A jog, jog, jog. If you want to do some star jumps, bring up that intensity. Go for it. Maybe a bit over jogging and you want to do some boxing. Go for it. Maybe you want to box up here with the speed ball. Talk about jiggle. This is a great one though. I do have a lot of fun here. Hope you do too. All right, just keep moving. Just keep on moving. Get ready for leg extensions. Here we go. Pillow between the ankles. And we bend the knees and extend. Bend, really concentrate using your tummy muscles. Don't let your back curve. You may not extend all the way like me, that's cool. 
I'm working on my core strength at the moment. Some aspects are really good. Others need a little bit more love, as you can hear. All right, let's jog. So don't be afraid to modify it or take breaks. I modify by not letting my legs extend all the way. You may too. And you may find over time, like me, your tummy gets a bit stronger, so you actually can extend them a little bit more over time. Oh, sorry, extend your legs over time. All right, get ready to squat and throw the pillow. Keep on moving. Squat and throw. There's a remarkable amount of dust when I do this. And I have to admit, it upsets me because I literally dust this room and other rooms in the house once a week. I don't know. I'm at a loss. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. We're nearly there. Then we jog. Let's jog. If you want to move around the room, go for it. If you want to do a bit of fast feet, come join me for the next 12 seconds. Oh yeah. Can you hear that thigh slap? Yeah. Keep it going. Stop. What do we got next? Plank. Pull it through. All right. So hold yourself in a good plank position. Pull through. Don't let the body ooh, rock and roll. Imagine you're balancing a bottle of water on your back. If it helps, do it. You will be so surprised at how hard it is. All right, get ready. Let's jog. Woo. All right, next one. Squeezing the pillow between the thighs. This is such a good core workout, particularly if you've got a weak core or a core that needs to be healed. This is a great one. If you have just had a baby, double check that this is the good one for you, but it should be pretty safe. All right, lying down, pelvic floor is on, pillow between the thighs. I'm just gonna hold a squeeze right now. Holding the squeeze, breathe, pelvic floor is on, core is on. If you're not sure how to engage your core, uh, consider coughing and holding the cough. That engages your core. Three seconds left and then we jog. Get ready. So another thing that I love about this workout was we're going from jogging to on the floor quite a lot. So that that wonderful incidental up and down. This is really good for balance work, coordination, little bit of falls prevention in there. It's really good. All right, I wore the wrong bra today. Get ready, let's balance, let's balance. All right, one leg on. You will find you have one leg much more stable than the other. That is okay. Swap. This is my challenging side gonna send it some love and well wishes. I'm not gonna berate it for being unsmooth. I'm gonna give it a little bit more before we jog. Let's jog. The cat is going crazy in there. Should I let him out? Let's let him out. All right, Henry Matisse. You gonna be a good boy? Come say hello to YouTube. All right. Fast feet if you like, you're going to jiggle, it's normal, you got this. <laughs> oh Henry, don't play with the cord, now I remember why I put you in there. Alright, let's pillow slam, let's go, kneeling, Henry, Henry. Go. 
going for it. So in this next jog, I'm going to have to pick up my cat before he electrifies himself. Electrocute, sorry. So get ready to jog. Two, one, jog. Henry Matisse. Keep jogging. Keep jogging. Oh, he got away. He may come back. Oh, this is why I talk about checking that your work environment is free from hazards and distractions. Don't do what I've just done. I fell for the cat. I could hear him wanting to come out. My heart. All right, get ready. Leg extensions. Last time we do them. All right. Pillow between the feet. You don't have to extend all the way. Just really focus on tummy on. Squeeze, tummy, squeeze, tummy. This is not going to be a good one if you have a very weak pelvic floor. It's going to put a lot of pressure on your pelvic floor. All right, I can do one more. Oh, yeah. All right, let's jog. So I highly recommend if your pelvic floor, you know, maybe you just had a baby, maybe you've discovered it's weak for whatever reason, that's cool, that's fine. Highly recommend you get in touch with a pelvic floor physiotherapist. Let them assess you properly, understand what you need, and guide you. You'll, you can thank me later. All right, get ready. Plank, no, squat and throw, whoopsies. <laughs> Oh, that nice little rush of cool air as the pillow comes down. That's very nice. So as you can see, you can do this with a pillow, um, you know, that you sleep on. Just going to be a fair bit awkward. All right, get ready. Let's jog. Whew. All right, let's bring our mind to our body. Let's notice our breathing. Feel the fresh oxygen come in. Feel the carbon dioxide leave. Get ready for the plank. Let's go. Plank, pull it through. Try and keep your hands as underneath your shoulders as you can. That prevents some injuries. Pelvic floor may be on. I, I recommend it is on. All right, let's get it going. Ooh, five seconds left, then we jog. Or just move in whatever way you need to. Let's go. Ooh. So, you can always come back to this workout if you want to do it at a higher intensity or a lower intensity. Lower intensity, take the breaks. Don't do this movement in between. Or just do it really chill. Or if you want something really intense, whack some burpees in. <laughs> All right, get ready to squeeze the pillow between our thighs. Pillows in between. <sighs> Something that you may find, I really hope you don't have any negative self-talk at the moment around, oh, it's taking me so long to get from the floor to standing. It's all good. That's exercise in itself. That's movement. Just because you're not fast doesn't mean it's not giving you a benefit. Good on you. Oh, let's jog. And that's something I really want you to carry with every exercise. If you're looking at an instructor or you're comparing yourself to what you could achieve once upon a time, just get that self-talk, negative self-talk and boot it because it doesn't belong here. You want to move in the present and in the present there are no comparisons. It is just you. All right, we balance. So just feel the movement as you come down. How does your back feel? How do you feel emotionally? Do you feel connected? Do you feel slightly challenged and you're enjoying that? Do you feel 
a distraction and they're very cute kitty all right seven seconds left whoa whoopsies so we're done let's stretch shall we stretch Henry he's a good boy yes you are yes you are so feel free to grab some water have a swig we're gonna keep the stretches pretty simple today um, I do have some other videos going through you know stretches in greater detail these are just some basic ones that I think you might find enjoyable first one tuck pelvis <laughs> cat walk through bring your body weight forward and put the cat yes you're so beautiful yes you are <laughs> all right if your back's okay you can twist to the opposite side now that's because one of the muscles we're stretching psoas is actually on an angle so when you twist you're actually giving it a bit more of a stretch if you have lower back issues don't do the stretch and if you have lower back issues you may want to consider whether you tuck your pelvis or not once again reach out allied health practitioner medical specialist gp personal trainer as well so a personal trainer will give you the personal touch personal touch is about modifying an exercise so it suits your body and your mind because you may not mentally be up to something and that's fine so they can guide you in proper form and technique as well as options oh so as you're in pigeon pose i invite you to come down onto your elbows and pat your cat if you have one henry don't lick me i know you like to lick salt it's gross can you hear him people He's very happy. I know you can't see his face, but he's very happy. He's quite blissed out. Aren't you, mate? All right. Next one we're going to do is a bit of a lunge to the side. So you may start on um, your knee, get your other leg out, and bring the other leg to the side. You'll notice my foot rolls. I've pretty much just got weight on my ankle there, oh, sorry, my heel and I'm getting this leg as straight as possible. Now, if this just is not working for you for whatever reason, I do encourage you, you can just come up here. This is one option. Make sure your knees aren't bending in like this. Aim to keep them out. And you can aim to stretch one side by doing this. So I'm keeping this leg as straight as possible and leaning over. Or you can do a little, little lunge to the side. Let's do the other side. So I'm going to start up here and then go down. Little lunge to the side. And then if I wanted to go all the way, my heel on this leg is popping up and my heel is making contact there. And that feels quite pleasant. I'm going to go into a pigeon pose next with the other side. So get ready. Yeah, get ready. All right. So, <laughs> right leg in front or the other leg that, you know, you haven't done yet. Oh, I was talking to a girl in my class last night and she was saying how she could spend like a whole day in this pose. And I agree. I just, oh, I love it. And it's just so interesting how there were some stretches that I could really spend like hours in and others that oh, it feels unpleasant after longer than like sometimes 10 seconds. And it's just so interesting how our body has those different signals. You don't have to label them as good or bad. Just notice. If you're unsure if it's healthy for you or good for you, that's when you <laughs> need to get in touch with a professional. So I want you to thank yourself for coming here today putting aside the time putting you first i want to thank you for using this video and my channel as a way for you to move your body i read all your comments thank you so much for taking the time 
to everyone who has subscribed. Thank you so much. I <laughs> hope to bring you more interesting workouts, different types of workouts. I am looking for a way for people to support me. Um, that way I can look into getting some more music because um, music means more dance and aerobics, which I have figured is a pretty high um, <laughs> preference. Henry, Henry, no. <laughs> I know people like um, the music. I'm going to come forward a bit, talk to you a little bit more personally now. Um, we'll do some arm stretches while I'm chatting away. So, um, yeah, I'm looking for ways that you guys can support me if you like. You people, I should say. could support me if you like. You don't have to by any means. Um, and I am hoping that that support, um, any financial contribution made will go towards me sourcing some music for aerobics um, and I would love to get someone to edit these videos particularly the aerobics ones there they take a lot of time to do and unfortunately it's time I don't really have so it's one of the reasons why I don't have too many aerobic videos because it just takes a lot of time to prepare so yeah, editing videos is um, very time consuming. So I would like to get some support so I can outsource it. Oh, Henry, that hurt. Thank you so much for coming today. Thank you for putting the time aside. Um, if you want to subscribe, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be um, updated whenever I release a new video, which is roughly weekly. And um, of course, stay safe, listen to your body, take care.